guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup look for glasses wearers. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually worn glasses in one of my videos before uh, because I don't really need them. Uh, they are for distance, so mostly for when I used to be in lectures in school, but uh, I do wear them occasionally for like TV and movies and stuff, especially if my eyes are tired. But yes, these are my pretty glasses. I love them. So I thought that I would do something a bit different today and do a makeup look for people who wear glasses. I know I'm not the first person nor will I ever be the last person to film a video like this, but I thought that it would be fun to do. I thought that for this look I would go really really simple um, and it's a very very matte look. Just getting a bit more depth into the eyes so that you don't lose them behind your frames. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching. So before we get started, I'm going to show you half my face that's done and half my face that isn't and pop my glasses on. So um, on this side, I do have my contour. Obviously, I have some lipstick on. But this is the finished side. And then the difference once my glasses are on. So let's get started. As always, I'm starting off with a primer and I'm bringing this up above my crease. That way all of our shadows stay and can be as vibrant as possible, and then I'm just taking my middle finger and blending it out. Now I'm taking an eggshell matte color from my W7 in the Buff palette, and I'm just going to be packing this all over my lid as well as my inner tear duct, because you want your eye to be quite bright so they're not lost behind your frames. And now I'm taking a matte dark brown shade, more of a medium brown shade I'd say, and I'm going to be putting this into my crease and blending it really, really well up and into my eye. And this is the most important part because we're trying to add depth back into our eyes that we can lose when we add primer and also can be lost behind your lenses. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to keep blending this out until I'm happy. I'm blending it up a bit higher than some would just because of my eye shape but it's up to your preference. Then taking that first shade, I'm going to also put it on my brow bone and just highlight that a bit. And now I'm taking a primer. Now I'm not using full foundation today, just concealer, but it's important to put a primer under your eye where you're going to have your lenses rub against the bridge of your nose and perhaps touch your face. And now I'm just going to apply my concealer in a long triangle because you might cast some shadow across your face depending on types of frames you have as well as the color of them. So you just want to make sure that your eyes are nice and bright. Now once that's all blended out, I'm taking a white eyeliner and I'm going to line my bottom waterline. Again, just to make my eye nice and bright. And now I'm just taking a brown eyeliner and I'm going to wiggle this into my top waterline to make my lashes look a little bit thicker because I'm choosing not to use any liquid liner today. And pop on some mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Um, I'm using the Clump Crusher which I'm actually really really loving and would definitely recommend. Now one of the most important aspects of this video is your brows. Now some people say that you shouldn't go too heavy on the brows because your frames of your glasses are already framing your face. Some people say go big or go home so that way um, your brows really do stand out. I'm kind of in the middle so I'm just using my brown liner from Positions Formula to fill in my brows. And it's important to use a clear brow gel or brow mascara just to help them set in place and make them stay all day. And now I'm taking a highlighter and just putting that on the tops of my cheeks for a nice shine. So that's the finished look. It is really, really simple. You could definitely do a liquid winged liner. So I hope you guys uh, like this look. Um, of course, you can wear whatever you like with your glasses. If you're someone who wears your glasses all the time, um, like 24-7, then you rock whatever you want to rock. Uh, for me, I don't wear them that often, so they don't usually dictate my makeup look. But I did think that just adding a bit of depth to my eyes and then just obviously that nice like bold lip um, would be nice. Of course, if you guys have any uh, requests for videos, both for this channel and my second channel, so challenges, tags, more sit down with SIDS, all that stuff, let me know, leave them down below or hit me up on my social media and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!